south of San Juan Wilderness this time. Well, we made it to the Three Forks Trailhead. And to say it's a little busier than I thought it would be. <laughs> well, we are on our way. We made it about a half mile from the car. <laughs> We're taking a break. Christian wanted some Nutella and peanut butter. Christian's got the uh, peanut butter and Nutella, Nutella on a tortilla snack working here to perfection. How is it? <laughs> Jaden says, can I try some? It's not a bad setting, huh? <laughs> well, we reached the, uh, we reached Three Forks. That's that sign uh, right over there. You can see the sign to Blue Lake. We head up that canyon right there. Coming up on a little uh, stream crossing here. Well, we uh, took a little break, got a snack, and uh, it started raining. You can see the sky's a little more uh, threatening. Well, I think we are almost up to Blue Lake. This is what we find ourselves in. We made it to Blue Lake. I'm up here on top of a cliff. You can see the setting here. We came up from down here. Christian and Jaden are off, are off exploring for better campsites. I'm resting. <laughs> it was only theoretically three and a half miles from that uh, Three Forks up here. That felt like 15. I mean, it was all uphill the whole way. Well, it's 11,600 feet up here. That might explain a little bit of it too. And we didn't. Not a bad setting, huh? Look at this. Well, it is time for my first sip of adult beverage. Oh. An early morning view at Blue Lake. It rained all night. <laughs> I mean all night and uh, as you can see it's kind of misty and Morning at Blue Lake. I think we're just going to hang here today and take our time, do some day hikes up on the Continental Divide. Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the morning. <laughs> 11,500 feet in the South San Juan wilderness. Doesn't get much better than this. Spectacular out here with my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Well, look at what I stumbled upon. <laughs> Jaden and I are just out exploring. Um, we were walking on the Continental Divide Trail. Look at the clouds up there. We've got the early morning fishing scene going on here. breakfast burrito stuff. Well, we're doing a day hike on the Continental Divide Trail. We're heading up there, I think. Look what we found. Those peaks, I'm not sure which one, but one of them is Canejos Peak, which we're still hoping to climb. I gotta figure out the logistics for that. Well, Jaden is uh, in Nirvana here. We're taking a short break, but look at the scenery. Check this out. Wow. Yeah, and this peak, 
way up there is Conejos Peak. We're going to uh, put a plan together to hike either this afternoon or more likely tomorrow morning. There's a bunch of lakes, Timber Lake and Twin Lake and Glacier Lake, all kind of on the way over there and get closer. So um, either tomorrow morning or more likely the next day, get up super early, go hit the peak, get back down to camp, break camp and start heading back. Well, we are leaving the trail and bushwhacking. <laughs> Christian wanted to go to the top of the divide up there. Well, we got, we think, one more hill to get to the summit. But we're above tree line, sort of. Look what we're hiking in. We are in the boonies. Well, here's where we're at. We're gonna, we've decided we're gonna try to bushwhack our way back. <laughs> Um, you can see this valley over here is the Navajo Valley and just beyond this line that you see I think is a big cliff that goes down and then follow right along that ridge line Which is right on the cliff. We're going to go up to that edge to see if we get a good view down into the valley over there and then Basically Blue Lake I think we can just take a compass heading and head back and Doing some bushwhacking Heading for the lake. We're going to have lunch there, I think. Or... Look what we found. <laughs> Christian wants to go sit out of the water, he said. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. There's a little different view of this valley. Navajo Valley. This is the one we were looking down this morning when Jamie and I were out walking. And I think the observation from that corner of Blue Lake was about right there. Which also tells us the direction we need to go to get back. Uh, now we're going down that and up there. We may get a good view of Blue Lake from up there though. Wow. And there's a little lake we found up here. Well, we made it to the peak that we've been looking at. That's Blue Lake down there. Our campsites. Well, you can't see it, but it's probably right about in there. And there's Conejos Peak. But we'll be winding our way down there tomorrow. In that area, but we've been bushwhacking. There's some snow down there. What do you think, Christian? Not bad? <laughs> Blue Lake, we're camped right about here. If you go beyond Blue Lake and see that valley in the distance, that's where the trailhead and the car is parked. Christian has found the trail again. There's the Continental Divide Trail. Almost home. It gives you the general idea. <laughs> it was pretty steep coming down. Very early morning view of Blue Lake. <laughs> We're gonna head towards uh, Conejos Peak, get up and break camp. Conejos Peak is probably about eight miles from here. Uh, we're gonna try to find a camp spot probably about six miles from here. So not a super long day. Then tomorrow get up early and do the peak and uh, start heading back here. It's kind of a view in the morning you can get used to, huh? We have broken down camp and uh, all that living here the last couple days, we're getting ready to move on. Heading out. On our way up to uh, Twin Lakes or Glacier Lake maybe. Well, this is what we're hiking in. That's where we're heading, the far peak there. We're well above tree line. You can see the cairns, stacks of stones that mark the trail. These little high alpine tarns, I think they're called. I think just over this rise is Glacier Lake, 
and then Twin Lakes a little farther, which is where we're thinking about. But one thing that could be interesting, there's certainly not a lot of shelter up here, <laughs> and we're not going down anytime soon. So finding a camp spot could be interesting, but uh, I made it to Glacier Lake. 12,100 feet or so. And still climbing. <laughs> you can see the cairn in the distance there. Well, we literally just hit the peak of the trail. Look what's on the other side. Well, Christian found us our camping spot for the night. Right on the northernmost one of the Twin Lakes. Here's our backdrop. <laughs> About the only spot below tree line around here. Well, this is the uh, lazy time. We're about 11,800. Caneo's Peak is 13,150. The plan is we're going to get up early, go do that. Um, maybe three hours up there, two hours back, something like that. Leave at 7. Be back here hopefully by noon, maybe a little later. Pack everything up, rest a little bit. And, well, we got to come down. I didn't video it, but we came straight down that ridge. <laughs> Switch back the whole way. Really, really steep. We get to go up that ridge tomorrow. We try to make it all the way to Blue Lake. We're about six miles from Blue Lake right now. So I think it's four up to the peak, four back, and then six down there would be maybe maybe a little less to the peak, but it's going to be a double digit mileage day in this kind of altitude and terrain is pretty pretty rough. But when we do elk. I think they heard me. Well, we're on our way to Kahanos Peak. Beautiful morning for it. Well, this is the early morning view atop the ridge. It's a herd of elk. I just I didn't get the camera out in time. They just went splashing through that water. Well, as has been the case many times, we don't have a freaking clue where the trail is. But we do know it goes up. So we're going to have to go up that tall ridge line to get to Kona, Kano, Kaneo's Peak up there. So, as we've been doing, we're doing some bushwhacking. We're going to go across. There's a stream down here. We're going to go across and then up over there and then up that ridge and then zigzag on up. Basically, we're doing our own switchbacks. But not a bad setting for a little morning hike, huh? <laughs> Well, we topped out, <laughs> at least the ridge. Not out of the summit yet. I still got a little ways to go. But that's a gentle incline compared to everything we've been doing. That may have been the hardest physical thing I've done in my life. Well, I wasn't sure we ever would. But we made it to the summit. <laughs> Here's the view before the battery in the camcorder dies. Pretty amazing. We made it back to camp, um, actually before noon, probably about 11.30. Recharging our energy stores, and then we're gonna um, break down camp. And we got one long climb up that cliff. And then it's literally downhill all the way to Blue Lake from there, and then we'll... Uh, great day so far, and uh, can't wait to get back to Blue Lake and just hang for a little while. So we'll probably head out in about an hour or so. But we're back at Blue Lake. We got the tent set up. I'm almost out of battery, so I'm not sure how many shots I got left. But looking forward to a relaxed evening and recover from a very long day. Well, here's the scene. It's really peaceful, with the exception of... The thunderstorms that are everywhere. <laughs> Sitting in the rain under our tarp <laughs> with our little fire. Cooking up mountain house lasagna. Raining, but we're dry and warm. It's pretty cool. Good way to good way to end it. Well we made it. <laughs> what a great feeling. Succeeded. I should say survived the South San Juan wilderness. <laughs>